Within the different fonts and font families, you're also going to find a lot of other symbols that you can use, either with your text, say in your magazine article, or your brochure, or letterhead, or what have you, or you can use them as design elements. There's a lot of times where you can find symbols and remake them into some cool looking design elements. and Photoshop calls those glyphs. So they are symbols, they're glyphs, they're special characters, special letters, whatever you want to call them, Photoshop calls them glyphs. So let's go ahead and take a look at them real quick. We'll go ahead and just select a black color and 140 point, that's good. So for instance, if we have our basic alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, hold on, let's just make this a little smaller. Okay, so we have the basic alphabet here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then we have our numbers 1, 2, 3, and so forth. This is centered, so let's center this up here. Okay, so we have our alphabets, and, and these are all considered characters. Uh, we have letters, we have numbers. Well, then we have special characters, uh, like the uh, exclamation point, the at sign, the ampersand, and so forth. We call those glyphs inside of Photoshop. And a lot of the font families automatically have these in them. Not every font family is going to have glyphs, but the most common font families, Myriad, Times New Roman, Arial, are going to have a lot of these. Um, so let's go ahead, oops, let's go ahead and select Arial. I'm having a hard time selecting today. So let's select Arial. Okay. And it's still big, so let's just turn that down. Okay, so we have the Arial font selected, and we can take a look at those glyphs. So if you go to Window, and you click on Glyphs, it'll open up the Glyphs panel, and you can see all of the glyphs uh, inside of the Arial font. So let's go ahead and turn it to Entire Font, and this is going to give you a list of every single glyph or special symbol that the Arial font family contains. And you can see Arial has a whole lot of them. And each one of these are, is going to have a, a certain amount of different glyphs that you can choose from. So uh, Box Shelf has this, and then we can pick another one, and you can see the ones that it has, and so forth and so on. Now your common ones like Arial Times New Roman, they're gonna have a lot of them to choose from. And you can come in here, I'll show you the most common, or the last ones that you use. So you see I've selected these before. You can change the font, you can change how you want those to look, so you can actually see how they would look bolded and so forth. And then you can also change uh, which ones you want to look at. So we can click on just the Latin. Well, let's change this back to regular. We can look at just the Latin style um, characters and glyphs, extended Latin. We can look at punctuation. So here you can see all the different punctuations and you can select them and take a look at them. There's a little uh, slider at the bottom which will make them bigger. So if you can't see them, you can actually make that bigger and we can make this window bigger and then you can see them a little better here. So we have punctuation, we have closed punctuation and open, dashes, subscript and superscript. So if you want like the little one or two, like uh, if you're doing mathematical expressions, you can have those above or below the lines. Currency, all the different currencies. If you want to add those in, you have those here. Uh, the different numbers. So you can see there's pre-made fractions and things that, like that you can use. Uh, math symbols, different types of uh, math symbols that would be hard to replicate, like some of these down here. Uh, designer favorites, so these are some common ones that designers would use. So you can see registered and copyright trademarks, those kinds of things, fractions, arrows. Those are very popular that you will might want to use. We have Greek letters, so we can come in here and assign different Greek letters. Uh, Cyrillic, I don't know if I said that right, but I hope I did. Arabic. So here's all the different Arabic letters, Hebrew letters, and then all kinds of other ones. Uh, ligatures, denominators. So there is a whole lot of glyphs that you can choose from. So, you know, if uh, we wanted to have any, well, let's just pick, let's just do like say currency. If we needed to have any of these currencies in here, we could do that. So when we're ready to add those in, we can just go to the text to the part that we want to add it to. Let's just backspace this out. 
and we can just double click and it will add those in for us. And then this is a great way to come in here and even use it for design work like I mentioned previously. So if you go to the very bottom of this page, You can see that we have what's called wingdings, and these are actual symbols. They're not even uh, any type of um, characters like letters and things. You can see I have the entire font selected here, and we have all kinds of symbols. These are glyphs. They're editable like fonts or text or type, but uh, it's a whole bunch of different things that you can use here. So, for instance, I have this cool checkbox, so I can double-click and bring that in. Or if we go to one of the other wingdings, you can see a whole other array of different symbols that you can use. So think of this as not just being for things like currency where you have to have uh, a certain symbol, but there's also a lot of ways that you can design directly from these glyphs inside of Photoshop.